Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the beautiful North Yorkshire Moors and also welcome back to the rather spectacular Matterhorn of the Moors, Rosebury Topping. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mike, a couple of vlogs ago, you were at Rosebury Topping. Why back so soon? Well, if you actually watch that video, you'll remember me saying this. I'm currently coming up through a lovely woodland, to be fair. Ooh, nice and gnarly. Now, I've actually come back to Rosebury Top. I'm car camping for a couple of days up in the North Yorkshire Moors because I felt like when Mrs. S and I were here, we didn't really get to do the things that, selfishly, I wanted to do from a photography perspective because the waterfalls, the water levels were low, falling fast, Old Megason, um, I wanted to go to Thomason Foss as well, but the water levels were low, so I didn't justify the 45 minute drive. Now, I thought, you know what? I've got a couple of days to come up, do some car camping, and let's go hit up those waterfalls and let's get some other pictures in. So, went up to a car park to car camp last night near White Hill. Another vlog we did from the last time we were here. And I was like, right, I'll go up the other side of the Cleveland Way, up the Cleveland Hills, and uh, yeah, get a sunrise. Woke up this morning, had a bit of a rough night's sleep last night actually. Now it's been windy all the time I've been up here, but I was really sheltered. Just couldn't sleep last night. It wasn't cold or anything. So yeah, woke up this morning though, looked, winds were blasting around sky was full of cloud i was like nah closed my curtain went back to kit for a couple of hours further so thought right went and got myself a brekkie good stuff and thought right where can i go with the camera and i remembered i'm going to swing it around that way a little bit because i'm trying to shelter the microphone from the wind the beautiful rosebury topping with the woodland just below it I thought, do you know what? It's not misty, but a bit of woodland photography before I head on to my next destination. I was literally five minutes down the road having brekkie, so made sense, made sense. Now, there's no mist, no light, but looking at it, we're in the throes of autumn, beautiful colours. Now, what I have done I'm going to spin you around, so I apologise if it gets a bit windy. Is I've got the camera here, utilising the lane up to Rosebury Topping, with this tree here, which is what I'm focusing on. I'm topping in the background. Um, I was just walking up and I was loving these autumnal colours, and I was thought, do you know what, it'd be wrong if I didn't actually take a picture of that with Rosebury Topping in the background, and making the most of the autumnal colours before I descend into the woods in case you can't really see it or if I don't find any compositions so yeah I'm only here for a couple of hours anyway that's what I paid for in the car park because I've got another destination to get to sunsets at half past four I'm not sure if I'll be out for sunset or not I'll need to check the weather um, probably not for a vlog it'll probably go somewhere take a picture and then go from there but yeah we'll see we'll see i've got plenty planned for this one so yeah stick with us let's head into that woodland
steps. So, I had a wander around a sort of ground level, see if there was anything I could see in decided I needed to get higher up um, to look downwards towards the trees. I'm already seeing stuff like if you're just looking back, that's a whole lot nicer than looking up at them. Yeah, I don't know actually, uh, it looks good either way. But yeah, I decided there was nothing really down there for me, so I'd have a, a looky bit higher up. So yeah, I'm gonna have a wander around at this level and then I'm going to tackle those bad boys that you would have seen in my uh, previous vlog from Rosebury Topping. But I'm not going to go much higher than that, I think. As I say, I've got another destination to go to. So, yeah. Let's go see if we can see some more pictures. All right, so next composition. Now you may have seen that I didn't actually find anything that I was overly happy with on that other level again. So I thought, come up to the next one, which you've probably seen on roll and stuff. So um, apologies as well about the wind noise. So I'm probably the only idiot who's decided to come up and do woodland photography in 38 mile an hour winds with 50 mile an hour gusts according to my office so that's actually making my job quite difficult i'm really having to sort of wait for the breaks in the uh, in the gusts pushed my iso lowered my aperture so i could get a really fast shutter speed to try and freeze the movement um, because even without the gusts it is actually quite strong winds now this composition Okay, so, yeah, it's actually a little bit narrower than this, but it's these three trees. So this one, this one in the middle, and this one, but it's got this lovely lit up leaf there. So it's not sunny. It'd be nice if I had a bit of light. It'd be better if I had a bit of mist, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, but what that is actually doing is it's causing a nice amount of separation. So these are quite dark because they've been backlit by the bright sky behind and these are kind of glowing. There are some twisty trees back there, but the narrow depth of field is actually throwing them out. Now, I've actually got the picture quite light on the back of my camera at the moment. I'm not taking it at that shutter speed. One fifteenth of a second, Pfft, no chance in these winds, but I have a slight confession to make, and that's what I wanted to make this topic of the vlog about today. I discovered something new on my camera a few weeks ago. I've only been doing photography for how many years now? Now, the confession is this. Now, I always use the optical viewfinder on a digital SLR. <clears throat> it's my preferred thing. Never really got on with Lightroom. Never understood the focusing of Lightroom. Uh, not Lightroom, Live View, sorry. 
I never use live view. I'd use it to kind of frame things up, turn it off, go onto the optical viewfinder, pick my focus point, jobs are good. Because I never liked the focus that I got with live view. Now obviously, all these mirrorless ones are moving over to live view, digital viewfinders. Let's go to the back of the camera and I'll show you what an amateur I've been for so many years. We'll start with the composition as you can see. Let me turn all the jargon off on the back of live view. So, as I said, you've got this. I'm calling it a split tree because it's got multiple thinner branches coming off. You've got this thick tree here and this one leaning nicely into the picture. You've also got dead, well it was at some point heather or bracken but it's just nicely there and as you can see as I say I've pushed the exposure up I've dropped the shutter speed so that we could actually see it properly on the back of here but all these leaves are lit up just lit like that in the background now I have got the ISO on 400 I might actually have to push that up to 800 to increase the shutter speed because I'm in the canopy it is quite dark now this is where my amateur status comes in. So, you can see the white box on there indicates the focus point. If you don't press the center of the thing, it actually makes life easier. Then if you focus on that, you'll see it turns green to say it's grab focus, but I was never confident that that was a good focus. What I didn't know is if you press the magnifying button, you can actually zoom right in to your focus point. Now, if I do that, boom lightens up grabs the focus puts the exposure back press the shut button if hey, voila that's now focused on there if we zoom into that don't know if you can really see yep there we go that tree trunk beautifully sharp i mean look how magnified i've gone in on that that's nice and sharp it's probably a little bit soft because of the focus on the phone to the back of my camera but yeah um didn't know i could do that so now ever since i've done that i've been using live view for all my focusing what a numpty Sorry if it's whipping down the mic, but not much I can do about it. Ah, rest bite. So, I'm gonna make this my last shot, so I've got 25 minutes to get back to the car. Um, so I'm gonna have to hurry down all those damn steps. Anyway, last shot, and it's this guy here. He's the star of me show. Now, I've switched up to the 50 mm lens, and I've also, utilizing the 1.3 crop on there which will take it up to what 65 mil now I was struggling a little bit with this one um, I've managed to get the composition I'm happy with but just up there the Sun keeps popping out every now and then which is lighting up the yellow on these leaves unfortunately with the Sun seems to have come the wind but there we go so I'm gonna uh, yeah, I'd say, make this my final shot, scurry down to the car, and then I'm going on to destination number two, 
which will be next week's vlog. So, whoo, just holding the tripod there, because here comes another big gust. I've moved the mic down, but I don't know if it's sheltering the wind very well. So I'm sorry if not, but yeah. Obviously, if you have liked this vlog, our little woodland photography around the base of Rosebury Topping, give us the old thumbs up. Also as well, leave some comments about this uh, live view focus that I had not a clue about. What an idiot. Um, but I'm so pleased I found it. <laughs> Might delay me even further in getting a new uh, mirrorless camera. But that's a different story for a different day. Um, but yeah, likes, comments about the <laughs> live view. Um, drop some subscribes as well because hopefully we've got quite a few vlogs coming from our next little let's call it Mike's misadventures in the moors um, yeah and this is Mike out take care be safe everyone peace <laughs>